Hey Virgo, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to row. My name is Keonti and I'm going to bring you a quick love reading. Um, again, this is going to be for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're cross-watching for a Virgo, it could resonate from your perspective, okay? It is energy, so it won't resonate for every Virgo on the planet. But if it resonates for you, my beautiful Virgo, make sure to give me the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. And if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, I will provide my um, email information in the description box below. All right, Virgo. Um, I'm going to tell the situation how I see it. Put yourself in it where it goes. I tend to read for the future, so this may have not happened as of yet, okay? The current nature of energies are surrounding you or the current nature of the situation is judgment. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius, but I feel like there's something here about an ultimate decision being made here, right? <clears throat> The cause of this judgment is the Ten of Swords, an ending, right? An ending to a cycle, right? This could be a painful ending here. But it's, if someone could be making a, a, an ending here, a, a decision here to bring in some sort of painful ending here to a situation here. The outcome is the Five of Cups, which is someone being disappointed here, right? And a soulmate connection here, right? Definitely disappointment. There is two cups still standing behind here, which is which is soulmate connections, but there's disappointment with the three cups that spilled, right? Um, and advice here is the five of swords. Virgo, what it looks like to me is what's happening here, right? There's an energy of me to, to me because underneath the deck I have the lovers, the eight of swords, the seven of wands, the four of cups, the page of swords in the world. You could be dealing with an air sign, a water sign, a, Gem a Gemini in particular. Um, there's an the energy of me to, to me of someone <clears throat> having to come to terms with with the five of swords because I feel like there's been some sort of conflict with the soulmate connection. This is this is conflict with soul with the soulmate and soulmate energies, right? I feel like there's been some sort of uh, ending here, but I feel like there's some sort of acceptance because with the with the lovers and the eight of swords, this is like damn. I still do have a connection with this person, right? I still have a connection with this situation, right? The the the, the lovers and the eight of swords. You and someone are still um the uh, like like still connected, right? You're still connected divinely, right? With the lovers here, you still have some sort of connection with someone with the eight of swords, but with the four with the seven of wands and the four of cups. It's like I'm still gonna stand my ground. I'm over it, right? I'm over it, right? So I'm standing my ground in this situation because I'm over it. And I'm looking to bring some sort of end or some sort of closure or to wrap this cycle up, right? Yep, I feel like this is you or someone in a situation. This is what's happening. Someone is making a decision here, right? I definitely feel like it's, it's happening in a, with, with the soulmate connection, right? It's like, I got to end this cycle with this soulmate, right? I'm very disappointed about the way this has went, right? I'm disappointed in it, right? But at the same time, while there is disappointment here, Virgo, I got to say, like, it's still like you and this person or however this is going, you, you, like, you guys, and, and listen, I have to be honest, if it's someone that you have children with, then yeah, because you because you, 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 you have children with this person. For some of you, it's just like that. It's exactly like that, right? But there's still some sort of connection or soul tie that, that, that you are still connected with somebody with, right? Even though you're making a decision to stand your ground in the situation because you are over it with this person or this situation, you're looking to close out a cycle with this. You're looking, you're looking to like you learn some sort of lesson and close out a cycle and move in a new direction because of this. But it's like still having to accept, right? That's how it's looking to me, Virgo. I'm gonna go ahead and clarify, but it is that that's exactly how it's looking. Again, you could be dealing with the Sag, you could be dealing with the Gemini. You could be dealing, yeah, Gemini in particular. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, I have a little bit of water here. But let's go ahead and clarify and see what else I get for you. Guys, remember, if it, if it resonates, give me the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. Why is judgment here for the current nature of the situation here for Virgo? The Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups flipped out as well. And the Hangman. You could be dealing with a Pisces for sure. Doesn't have to be. What's here? The Hierophant. Yep, I feel like... Someone's making a judgment or a decision call with the hangman here. Like, I feel like something could have been stuck, but I feel like there's enlightenment here. Like, I feel like somebody knows exactly what it is with this situation. You and this person are still very much connected here, right? And I feel like someone is making a decision call with the ace of cups and the nine of cups, which equals ten cups. I, I feel like <clears throat> even though whatever's happened has been disappointing and there's been some sort of ending, I feel like there's no love lost between you and someone, right? Someone is making a decision. The high refined, I feel like there's there's definitely you could be dealing with the Taurus here. There's definitely an energy of a of a family 
dynamic here. Could definitely be dealing with the father figure. There could be just an energy of having to, to um, rebuild something, right? For sure. And, and do it the right way with someone here, making that decision here. Yep. The devil, the fool. I feel like it's, it's an energy. I feel like someone feels like that they are karmically attached to someone. It may be some toxicity involved with it, right? But they're, they're, But it's like letting bygones be bygones, even though you, even though there's been some disappointment here and there's been some sort of... um. There's been some sort of conflict here with someone. Now, I do feel like there's an energy of moving in a new direction. Why is the Ten of Swords the cause of this? I feel like some like it could be energy like I'm tired of fighting with this person. Like I'm gonna let this 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 fight go or this battle go, right? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Virgo for this situation? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Eight of Pentacles. Some of you could definitely be tired from work for sure. Some of you could definitely be getting ready to make a decision to go in a new direction with work. You could be tired of one situation with work. And looking to get out. <laughs> I see that for some of you. See, because there's the emperor. Yeah. But I do feel like the cause of this is like there is an energy of like letting some sort of cycle in here. Getting control of a situation and then putting effort into something else here. Like someone could definitely be working to take control of a situation and bring in some sort of ending here, right? Someone could definitely be working on being a bigger person in a situation I'm getting at. Yep. There's the ace of swords here. There's a yes coming in here. Definitely could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Why is the five, five of Cups here for the outcome? I feel like the Five of Cups is, there's still, a, there's still a connection here. The Two of Cups is still standing. There's just been disappointment. There's been a, a, a real disappointment here. Somebody could have let, let someone down here, but you are still connected and attached to this person. The Knight of Pentacles, here's your energy. More Earth energy. Yeah, I feel like there's a long, there's some long-term shit going on here, right? With the soulmate connection. There's just been a disappointment here. But here's the Six of Wands. This is getting victory and success and control over it. You could have to, somebody could definitely be acknowledging, like, damn, I'm very disappointed in, in this situation with somebody, but we're still connected. We're still attached, right? I gotta make a decision to like in whatever cycle this is that we're going through and work on going through a new phase, right? Yep, see, there's the magician manifesting something new, and it's because of this five of swords. I definitely feel like some of you could feel like um somebody playing my somebody played mind games and manipulated in a situation. Why is the five of swords here for Virgo for the advice? I feel like this is definitely the energy of like accepting that even though it's been this five of swords here, it could have been somebody wanting to win at all costs. It could have been some competition. It could have been some third party situation or some manipulation. There's an energy of even though that this happened. Like, you and this person are still connected here. You're over it, though. I'm not saying that y'all still together. You're definitely over it. You're standing your ground. You're looking to end this cycle here. Someone is, but you're still very much connected to this person somehow. Why is the Five of Swords here for the advice? The Virgo. The Knight of Cups. What did I tell you? This is definitely love. Genuine love. Adoration. of Friendship. Affection. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there's an energy of, yeah, even though this has happened, right? This is someone, I don't want to say stuck with, but this could be someone that you or someone that's kind of stuck with. Someone could definitely be very stubborn here, but there's still a lo love and affection. It could be a situation where there has to be. This could be family, right? But this is how I'm seeing it. Yeah, three of swords, because there's been some sort of heartbreak. It could have been a betrayal. Someone could definitely been feeling very backstabbed by someone in their soul tribe here. But there is a there there's an energy of moving forward. The page of wands, the ten of pentacles, because there's there's energy of still moving forward. Because at the end of the day, there's a, still an energy of family, long term longevity, house, home, stability energy here, Virgo. Okay, this is how I'm seeing it, guys. If the messages resonate, make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. And if you're interested in booking me, feel free to reach out and email me. I I thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos, and I thank you for subscribing. And everything else. Take care of yourselves, Virgo. Bye-bye.